Hello, welcome to today's video, today we will look at how to connect the rotary encoder KX040 to the Arduino. Today's goal will be to create a program so that we can control the Arduino with this rotary encoder. Have you tried plugging it in yet? But can't find any working program to download? Here you can find it, I've created a code that should debug any errors you might encounter while designing your code. Ok, let's go. We will need a rotary encoder. Then an Arduino Uno motherboard. An LCD display LCD 1602A I2C, 16 by 2 characters on which we will write everything. Finally a board on which we will connect everything. First we connect power to the board, 5 volts, and ground. We will then connect the power supply for the LCD display. We will connect pin SDA to pin A4 on the Arduino. A pin SCL to pin A5. We have the display connected. And now we will connect the rotary encoder. As we already mentioned, it is KX040. But first, let's say something about it. This type of encoder works based on the principle of recording changes in positioning. It consists of two channels, usually referred to as A and B, that generate pulses according to the direction of rotation. In principle, the KX040 rotary encoder generates pulses as it rotates. Channels A and B produce phase pulses and are shifted by 90 degrees. This allows the direction of rotation to be determined based on the sequence of pulses. If channel A is before channel B in the pulse order, the rotation is considered one direction, and if the situation is reversed, the rotation is in the opposite direction. Similar encoders with this principle are often used in devices such as CNC machines, 3D printers, robots and other devices where rotation, position or direction of rotation need to be measured. This encoder can be turned to both sides, it has no stop, so it can be turned infinitely, this encoder can also be pressed. It contains a button. It is therefore ideal to use, for example, for menu selection and settings, for which I will also use it in future projects. And if you're wondering what it will be? It will be about converting pet bottles into filament. You can find the first video about this project at the top right or on my channel. We explained the basic principle. Now let's dive into the wiring. We connect GND to ground, plus to 5 volts. We connect pin SW to digital pin 5, pin DT to digital pin 3. and the last CLK, we connect to digital pin 2 on the Arduino. So, we're connected and can start programming. Again, I prepared the program in advance and we will try to go through it. The first thing we do is call the library for the LCD display. Then we define the variables. These first three define which digital pins on the Arduino are involved, to which the rotary encoder is connected. The others are variables that will fold for the function of the program. At the beginning, I would like to mention that it was not possible for me to operate this encoder with a simple program. I spent a lot of time on this before I made the code because I kept getting spurious pulses that I couldn't debug with a resistor or capacitor. I tried more options, but I finally solved it in code, so I hope it works for you too. Next, 
we define LCD. We turn on the backlight and activate the LCD. Subsequently, we will set the pins. And we will create a command that will call the function in case there is a change on the pins. Here we call the handle pin 1 change and handle pin 2 change functions. These are the features we see here. Pin 1, which is actually pin 2. It might be confusing, but I found this naming better. So if the state changes on pin 1, the function handle pin 1 change is called. Here the reading will take place on pin 1, actually on pin 2. And if all the conditions pass, the next function gets called, and that is compare states. We will find it below. With the handle pin 2 change function, the situation is the same only for pin 3, that is, for CLK. Both of these functions monitor whether we are turning left or right. They pass their information to the already mentioned compare states function. If everything passes the conditions here, the counter will be written to the Arduino IDE. Which is already a programmed value, which will be added or subtracted, according to the rotation of the potentiometer. Next, in the loop, we define what should be written on the LCD display. Here we write the counter and the current count. And that's it for the potentiometer. We have finished it and finally we will make a program for pressing the button. We define the button, i.e. pin A5, above. Here, another program will be executed, which will filter out possible interference and write to the display and to the Arduino IDE button pressed. And that's all. This is how the program should work correctly, I hope it works for you as well, because it works for me and only this way, of course there are more solutions. If you have any, you can share with us in the comments, or ask a question. In the next videos we will move further and make a menu, that would be all for today. I thank you for watching, I will be very happy for likes and comments. Have a good time and see you next time.